Hello at the wonderful world of YouTube. This is that GTA fan 720 and I have a special treat for you. Now, on my video about the Windows 10 forced upgrade, I mentioned to one of the people who commented on that video that I was going to post a tutorial on how to essentially transform Windows 10 into functioning and looking and feeling like Windows 7 because there are a lot of people out there that still haven't upgraded past Windows 7 and I'm not talking about businesses because obviously businesses aren't interested in running programs in the background to modify their operating system however um, consumers are probably more likely to do that especially ones that are tech savvy enough to where they would you know want to specifically stay on Windows 7 when they know about the newer versions of Windows or even care but um, this Windows 10 installation has been completely transformed into Windows 7 and unfortunately I did another take of this and something kind of stopped working so uh, you missed all the parts about me actually installing this software but everything I have is currently on the desktop and I will post all the links into the description uh, for the for Aero Glass to get the Windows 7 glass effect I got Big Muscles Aero Glass for Windows 8.1 as you can see and of course we still have the benefits of Windows 10 like being able to snap in the four corners and if we minimize that we can also see I have organized the taskbar um, I got rid of the task view button and the search box by simply going into this context menu by right clicking I also right clicked and clicked on personalize to change the setting where it shows the color on the taskbar, title bar, start menu, etc. Um, so we have that if we go to colors then we have this option we can also have it automatically pick if we want um, but okay I don't know how the heck it got that but so we will turn that off and switch it back to blue uh, yeah just that blue and <clears throat> also we installed the Windows 7 start menu via classic shell which I got with a program called Ninite and Ninite is a program that you can use to install multiple applications on the same PC and keep those applications updated although in this case I only used it to install classic shell because it was on the website and I also downloaded a PNG off their blog uh, or not the blog the uh, forums um, for the Windows Vista start orb. The reason I got the Windows Vista start orb instead of Windows 7 is I got the Windows 7 start orb but whenever I applied it it was like way too big and I couldn't figure out how to scale it down so I just grabbed the Windows Vista but for me personally the Windows Vista is a little bit cleaner um, and I, I got the version that has the border around it so it looks like the legitimate Windows Vista so if I right click properties um, in here I if I want to transform it into Vista I can do other things but I'll make that a separate video I I check the box where it says use peak to preview desktop so whenever I go over to this every single window that is open turns into glass just like in Windows 7 when that's not turned on by default if I click use small taskbar buttons you can see the border around the start button and it does not get screwed up but I'll uncheck that because that's Windows 7 I also without installing anything I basically simply unpinned the store and Microsoft Edge and replaced them with Internet Explorer and Windows Media Player which both of which are still in Windows 10 and their versions have not changed since Windows 7 um, if you have a fully updated Windows 7 that has Internet Explorer 11 that is um, and I just simply turn those buttons off <coughs> excuse me um, so it looks like Windows 7 we have these main icons and of course you can add chrome and whatever else just like usual so that's pretty much that and I got this Windows 7 start or uh, Windows 7 wallpaper image off Bing it's not the original Windows 7 wallpaper but it's very similar so you can kinda get the look and feel of Windows 10 and of course with the classic start menu you can open up the legacy control panel and everything else um, and you could still get to PC settings this PC you know all the usual stuff and you can customize this little sidebar on the right just like you did in Windows 7 via classic start if we right click and click on settings 
we can get the options for classic shell. I have it set to where under start menu style, it goes under Windows 7 style, and then for the skin, Windows arrow. And I didn't change any other settings minus that. I clicked replace start button and click custom and pick the image that I saved on the desktop. I will have a link to the image as well. So, and then if we go custom my start menu, we can put everything as usual. And it's a lot more customizable than many of these other programs. And the best part is everything that you see here is free. However, uh, Arrow Glass for Windows 8 Plus uh, actually put a watermark in the bottom corner of the screen. But if you can deal with that, then it's free. Uh, I have not really found, I did find uh, an Arrow Glass utility that was free and actually did it the best way. But unfortunately, the person that posted it had um, a zip that was in Dropbox and the zip has since been deleted and I did not archive the file myself um, so unfortunately I can't post that but this for now actually gives you a more Windows 7 style arrow was that whereas the other one gave you a more Windows 10 style arrow by default but you could still change it to give you the 7 style arrow but you know you have like you know the big the big shiny buttons and everything and of course you don't have when you click win tab you don't get flip 3d you just get this um, but at the same time uh, you have the options to do the corner snap if you so choose uh, and also you can search from the start menu just like before so if I want to open up paint and then boom there is paint and then I can open it up just like in Windows 7 but I can still put in the classic search box or icon if I really want to have that but in this case I don't because I'm trying to get away from all that and it's literally just as simple as just these little programs you run all their installers make sure you give them admin permission so they can actually do their changes to the system and yeah so that's pretty much it. This is my video on having Windows 10 and completely transforming it into Windows 7. And I say completely, um, you know, not quite completely. Um, there is also uh, another program you can use to get the, win the Windows 7 gadgets. And even though I personally did use gadgets on Windows 7, I personally don't recommend doing that. I personally would recommend just to install Rain Meter. Um, which gives you a lot more customizability than the Windows gadgets. Plus, certain Windows, Windows gadgets like the weather and the stocks don't actually work anymore in Vista and Windows 7, so they're not as useful. So, but yeah, um, with G these four little things, two pictures and two programs, you can make Windows 7 look and feel exactly like, well, not exactly like, but for the most part like Windows 10. Because, of course, you still have the Windows 10 style log on and you still have the lock screen for Windows 10 but you can turn off the lock screen if you want as well um, but as you can see this is actually Windows 10 so yeah uh, and of course the old style control panel works the same way so you can have your old style control panel just like you did in Windows 7 so that's pretty much it uh, this is that GTA fan 720 signing out. I hope you learned a lot from this video and Like this video if you want me to do more transformations like this Dislike this video if you don't want me to but I'm probably gonna do it anyway and Comment if you feel that you want to see a specific OS transformation or if you want to um, Kind of give me some advice on different transformations in the future um, I am more open to doing more advanced transformations, meaning actually editing the registry and stuff like that, uh, which I might be doing with some of the Windows 8 um, pre-release builds. But yeah, the next two videos are going to be the exact same as this, only for Windows 8 and Windows 8.1, and those transformations are a little bit more complete than Windows 10, because of the fact that in Windows 10 you can't properly skin the taskbar. And I've tried multiple utilities to get it to work, but it just doesn't work. It just makes it very crash happy. So Windows 10 does not seem to respond well with reskinning the taskbar. But at the very least, you have everything else, and it still looks pretty good. And it looks like Windows 7 for the most part. And the whole the the main thing to be focused on as far as making it like Windows 7 is we have the Windows 7 start button and the Windows 7 start menu and we can get to everything 
as usual. So, this is that GTA Fan 720 once again signing out. I hope you all have a good one.